Tara, we're not eating Mrs. Brown's. Mary Brown's famous tenders and taters. What is it? Yeah. Mary Brown's famous chicken and taters. A little fast food. It's a KFC of mm. Canada. No, it's not. It's like a tenders. Tira. It looks, it looks good. It really does. We're in a heart of bath and it is gorgeous. What are you thinking? Tia just got super excited that they had crepes there. We're gonna swim in water from hot springs. 10 miles away. The seeps through the earth into this bath spa. We'll see how it goes. Okay, we just spent a day at the pool. Uh -huh. It wasn't a pool. It was like thermo pools. It was like the natural bath. Natural bath spa. It was all natural water. None of that fake stuff like in the U.S. But um, it was warm water. It was really good. It was awesome. But um, yeah, now we're gonna go grab dinner. Bath is beautiful. There were no cameras allowed or phones allowed in the baths. We'll show you a picture of it though later. Yeah, we'll grab one from the internet. But uh, now on our walk back. It's super cute and quaint. Staying at the Via Magdala tonight. <laughs> so here's the room. Really nice and serene. No air conditioner, but they do have a fan. In suite bathroom. Hey guys. Yeah, so if you're ever traveling to Europe and you don't see the words in suite at your like bed and breakfast or hotel, that means the bathroom is in the hall. So it's always a big deal whenever you actually get a bathroom in the room. Could not have done this we could have but um, things are a lot easier when you have cell service we couldn't have done it because we wanted to talk to our children um, and family and all that kind of stuff so the cool thing is, is if you have Verizon I don't know about AT&T but if you have Verizon you pay ten dollars extra a day and you can use your same data plan as in the States so it's just ten dollars extra I don't know if that's Europe or just UK or what but yeah, I, think it's, I think it's anywhere there's a huge list of countries yeah it's a great deal like use your same data plan ten dollars a day so we can do whatever we need to on our phones pretty awesome right yeah for dinner tonight we have martini which is an italian restaurant uh, the reason we found this place is because we asked somebody um at the roman baths so i always ask locals Carbonara. Yeah. Now we are going for crepes and hot chocolate, or gelato and hot chocolate, or crepes and gelato, or a Belgian waffle and gelato. Ooh, we haven't had that in a while, actually. Yeah. So many options. Congratulations, world's best Belgian waffles. Yes. Yes. Thank, thank you. So are you mad at me? Yes, because you just take the tip of the cream. I spit it back out. I take my dessert. It's not like you don't have enough stuff like in front of you right now. The tip of the cream is, is gold. Tira, eat your ice cream hot chocolate shake thing. Mm. You need to me out of here. We made it. We walked up about, I don't know, 
five steps. Oh, today is Saturday, our last day in the UK. So we're about to head back to the airport, stay there tonight. But before we go back, we're going to find this one little secluded place that Tira found on the internet. <laughs> and the next place we're going is Stonehenge. Which is another little secluded place that yeah. we found on the internet. But I'm getting my uh, my car, my UK driving experience down today. <laughs> because we're going through all these little bitty narrow streets and all this kind of stuff. So Trying to find parking, how to get to this yeah. spot. But we're getting there. Let's see what the view says, though. This is gorgeous. I'm gonna laugh if we get up there and it's not even it. I know. We just found out it costs money to get in. So we may just look for me. Let's go. I feel like this is like so just like out of a movie. Do you agree? Yeah. And hopefully the guy kisses the girl. Let's see what happens. I'm not really sure yet, but I think it's leading up to that. Um, so the guy just let us in for a bit because we don't have an hour to tour the entire premises. So he was like, ah, oh, just go have a look around. This is one person's residence. Well, it was. It was, and this is just the yards. 1776, I believe yeah, we'll go show you the house. So this place is not easy to get to. There's no parking, he said. The only way you can get here is by bus or parking on the street and walking away, which is what we did. But this is some bridge. Back in America, somebody would have just put a log down. And that's the house. I want you to know, you all suck. As human beings, you suck. It was built in 1498. That's older than your like great, 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 great grandparents. America wasn't even founded. No, it had just been founded in 1492. Columbus held the ocean blue. So they discovered America, and then they were like, let's build a church. most of the uh, tours or museums or anything. We usually do one tour per trip. We do the town. Yeah. So I'm looking at Stonehenge. It's literally about 100 yards that way. It's amazing. It's pretty cool. And he's thinking about turning around. We'll but once we see it, we're like, that was awesome. Let's go back. And you ready? Here it is. My face. And Stonehenge. Right there. Tira always steals the camera from me when she's shooting for other people. So you can stand here for 40 pounds, or you can stand right over there for free.
South Terminal. Which way? Right in front of us. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> First time. I didn't know. I thought we went to the house. It's good. It's good that we had a car today because we could go to Stonehenge. Yeah. But we're never renting a car again. I don't know. We did pretty good. I would say that's the right word. Now this is my definition of living the dream. I'm so excited. Get to enjoy my pizza in peace. hear a thing but uh now you know that that was the most eastern part of north america oh yeah so that was pretty cool it was worth it to come out here oh yeah for sure now we're both gonna be pretty sick probably
Tears a wee bit tired. She slept a lot in cars over the last few weeks.